What's going on everybody? It's your favorite dating coach Elliot Scott and as you can see by the title below we're going to talk about the ultimate guide to male jealousy. What makes men jealous? What makes men return? What makes men do what they do when it comes to jealousy? Okay now if you haven't yet please subscribe just click the red button below. I will love you forever along with the bell notification if you want these videos right when they come out. And if you want to work with yours truly in terms of getting a phone, email session, or my course, Attraction Academy, links are down below. So the reason I'm making this video is because a lot of people were asking me for it. Elliot, I want you to make a video on making a guy jealous. Uh, and, and for some reason, these women think it's going to get a guy back. It's going to make him learn his lesson. It's not. I don't advocate to make a guy jealous. I would say probably grow up and, and get over it. Um, but I understand egos involved in emotions. And I'm not judging when I say that. I've been there, done that. That's just how we are. Why not? Right? So I don't advocate for it, but I'm making the video anyway. Jumping right into this. You can only be jealous of someone who has something that you ought to have or do you believe that you ought to have yourself, okay? And this is a very important concept because a lot of a jealousy, as you're going to see, comes down to assets, advantages, and a threat to those assets or advantages. And that doesn't mean another person in the picture, uh, you know, necessarily. It could be um, taken, uh, these things being taken away from the person. It's You'll see what I mean, okay? So keep this in mind. So there's two forms of jealousy I want to talk about, and they're kind of the same thing, but I still wanted to separate them. Okay, so the first one is the feeling or showing of envy towards someone's advantages and or assets. So this could be me jealous that you make more money, you have a nicer house, you have a hotter uh, boyfriend slash girlfriend, uh, that... The person that I like likes you instead of liking me, uh, things like that. And this is going to drive me to do certain things, okay? And we will get onto that. But this is one driver. The second driver, I have jealousy number two here, is you tend to be fiercely protective or vigilant of one's rights or possessions. Now, this is when you have it. This is when you have the possession and there's a threat of it being taken away. So there's one where you're envious and you're wanting to uh, to gain and then there's another one where it's defensive and you're wanting to prevent to take away. And these are both important because a lot of you women, you know, you always talk about making a guy jealous, but you don't even know which one he is. You don't even know which one he is here. Okay. So what jealousy really means is or what it really is, is an emotion designed to warn us that a threat to our advantages or our resources are at, is at play, okay? This is why men, a lot of the times, they get, you know, women will come to me and they would say, they say this all the time. Elliot, if he doesn't want a relationship, why is he still around? If he doesn't want a relationship, then why does he get jealous when I bring up other men? Or if he doesn't want a relationship, why does he say not to talk to other people? Or why does he ask me if I'm talking to other people? Because just if he doesn't like you, it doesn't mean you don't have assets. It doesn't mean he's not interested. There's a difference between liking you and dating you. And even if he didn't like you, right, there's still assets that he might, uh, you know, be obtaining or advantages that he might be getting from you. So even though he might not date you, uh, you're still an option, Okay, you still might be an option if things don't work out with him doing the single, I want to see what else is out there kind of life, right? The grass is greener on the other side type of thing. You're, you're, you still might be useful for that. So that's an advantage. That's an asset. He doesn't want to lose that when he when he goes and uh, goes off and does his other thing with other women. He wants to make sure you're still there. So that's why, right? Or it could be the fact that, um, you know, maybe you, you, you're still hooking up with him. Or, uh, what I mean, you, you boost his ego, validation, uh, whatever it is. You give the guy some benefit. And that's how it always is going to be, ladies. You, when people want people in someone's lives, or when we want people in our lives, whether it's the same sex, different sex, whether it's conditional, unconditional, um, love, anything, it's advantages. If I feel good about having you in my life, I'm going to keep you around. If I don't, then I'm not. It's, it, it's strictly resources. You got to remember that. So if he doesn't feel jealous, it's usually one of these three reasons. 
The first one I would say is your liability, meaning he just doesn't care about you, AKA, or the advantages that he had with you. So a lot of women will come to me and they would say, well, but I'm a good cook and I'm, I, I treat him well and I really like him and I'm this, I'm that. Guess what? He might not give a shit about that kind of stuff. He just might not give a shit about it, number one. Number two, a lot of women can give him that. And number three, it's not. it might not be worth the cost, okay? So remember that when I talk about liabilities. If you want to know more about liabilities, please get my course. I just realized I'm talking really fast. Get my course, Attraction Academy. I think it's going to help you ladies out a lot when it comes to um, assets versus liabilities, negotiation, um, and you know, and that kind of stuff. Gaining, gaining power, putting yourself in the right position. Another one is take it for granted. You may say something and pull, or yeah, you may say something and pull away, but never follow through. Uh, he has access to you. What I mean by this is, there's a lot of women who would come to me, and I'd say, well, you're you're being taken for granted. You're not pulling away. Oh no, I do pull away. Okay, you do, but he comes back around, and he has access to you, right? Like he knows what he could do. Oh, you know, he knows all he has to do is just say a little phrase or a little word, and you come crawling back. So I say there's two types of access. There's the concrete, like pretty straightforward access, which is, okay, I'm going to pull away from this guy for two weeks. And, you know, he doesn't have access to you because you're ignoring him. But then there's the deeper contextual access, which is where he feels, even though you're doing that, if he really wanted you, he could have you. And that's what, even if he's, even if he's right or not, that's what he believes. Meaning, you know, he believes that you're pulling away to get a reaction out of him. But of course, because of you doing this, it's because you like him. So he knows, well, if I really want her, I'll just, I could just come back around and say, Hey, I'm sorry. I like you. You know, I, I, I miss you. Um, I, you know, I, I, I want to keep talking to you. And then you, you, you cave in. It's usually when women cave in that a guy takes advantage of her or takes her for granted. And then she wonders why she's in the situation she's in. I don't, I don't know. It's crazy, right? And then lastly, he is convinced that he has the power. He is convinced that he has you, the power, and that you will leave any man once he comes back around. There's no feeling for him to be just. What I'm trying to say here is that he has complete power, that there is no reason for him to feel jealous. So let me give you an example of this. There was a guy I was really good friends with back in college. We were best friends, awesome guy, hope he's doing well. Um... He was a decent looking guy too. Decent guy, cool guy, easy, you know, very social and stuff like that. But he just didn't talk to a lot of women. So he didn't have a lot of experience with women. And so he was always asking me about them and doing this and doing that and how to get so-and-so and and what women are thinking, what's the best idea or best way to get this, that, whatever, right? And we had a, a woman, a friend in our group, a girl, who, you know, I was flirtatious with and she liked me also. And he you know, caught on to that, like, oh, you guys really like each other. I could tell that she's into you. And I remember one day we were sitting out smoking cigarettes in front of our uh, in front of our class, waiting for class to start, or on our break or something, whatever. And another guy comes up and talks her, talks her up. And I'm sitting there watching, and my friend, the guy, keeps on looking at me. And I'm like, why is he looking at me? You know, whatever, I'm smoking, I'm listening, I'm, I'm joining in the conversation, talking. And I look over, my friend keeps on looking at me. He looks at me, he looks at me, he looks at me. Then the other guy leaves that came and hit on the girl. And I'm like, dude, why, like, what's up? Why are, you, why, why are you looking at me all the time? He says, oh, I just wanted to see what you would do when this other guy tried to come in and, 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 and get between you and this girl. And I was like, and I said this cocky, and I don't mean this as a possession type of thing. Because I said it in a jokingly manner, even though I kind of believed it. I was like, dude, I'm not worried about this guy. I have her. Right, and I said it in a joking manner, but I did believe that I had her, and she laughed at me, ha ha, and hit me and stuff like that. Because we, it's, it's, it wasn't okay for me to say that, but we were good friends. Like she knew I wasn't like that kind of guy, and I didn't have her in that term. I don't mean, I don't want you to think I mean like, uh, like I own her, like ownership, you know. But uh, yeah, I mean, I did feel like in terms of attraction, emotion, I had her. I was not threatened by any guy coming in, so I can kind of do what I want and be kind of free and say what I, whatever and chill and not have to worry. Right. 
A lot of guys fall in this category with you and you don't even realize it because of what I said previously about taking you for granted or you being a liability. He can be convinced that he has the power because if he sees that you don't, if you, if you're a liability or that you don't have the assets, then he's not, he's not going to put a lot of power in or a lot of intention in terms of the power. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, He's not going to put a lot of effort into it because he doesn't see the, the you worth the cost. I hope that makes sense at all. So, yeah. So what does make him jealous then? I would say it's these three things. It's feelings and emotions towards you, meaning if he likes you, any resources you give to other men or that are being threatened to take away um, will spark some type of concern in his mind, okay? Uh Another thing that would make him jealous if it's not emotion would be an actual, uh, it, w- it would be that he likes the advantages or assets he gets from you. So he, maybe he doesn't like, you know, I think a lot of women fall into this category, eh, kind of. I think a lot of you fall into the category where he likes you, but not enough to commit, but he is sticking around because there's assets still and advantages to be obtained. Now, I don't mean that's all you're good for because, again, he does like you. He does like talking to you. He does like hanging out. He does like interacting, talking, cuddling, fucking, all, you know, have sex, all that kind of shit. But not enough for him to say, okay, you know what, I'm going to commit to this girl. But it is enough to stick around because there's obviously assets and advantages to be gained um, on this. And then, of course, there's number three, which is I think he would get jealous if competition uh, came in taking you away from one of these two things the you know the ego being taken away or or sorry the uh, the assets being taken away or the emotions being you know because I like you I don't want another guy in the picture but if it's not even those things then it's just pride and ego some people just don't like losing to other men if he if he doesn't have the advantage or the assets right? That means someone else will. And I don't like being one-upped like that. That's just human nature. I don't like being one-upped. So it's these three things that make a man jealous. So now how do you actually make him jealous? Okay. Now I know you're warning like step-by-step guide, like a, uh, you know, on how to do these things, but I'm not going to obtain, or I'm not going to put those in here because I think jealousy is a very petty, superficial thing. You need to read a little more books on enlightenment. If you're trying to make a guy jealous, it's just a dude who cares. He's a nobody. Only in your eyes, he's somebody. I don't know why people do these things, but I am going to give you the trifecta on what actually, or on how to actually make him jealous. So, as I said earlier, in terms of assets, there has to be a cost for him. He has to actually be losing something, whether it's advantages, it's assets, it's his pride or ego, or it's his emotional attachment to you. There has to be a cost, okay? Like there has to be something there, a spark. Then from there, inserts the threat. Something needs to trigger his instinctual response, this jealousy, the thing we talked away all the way back over here, okay? The feeling or showing of envy towards someone's advantages or uh, or feeling protective over your rights and possessions, right? Your assets. And then, of course, lastly, uh, you have to get this guy to invest. Okay, if he's jealous, if you get him to invest, you're going to, it starts to cause this momentum, this downward spiral, at least for him, where the more you can get him to invest, he is going to try to double down and ensure the payoff. That's why I tell women, if you play the game too hard, you don't know your value. Just be, again, women, I, I need to make a video on this. A lot of women think they're fucking tens. You might be a 10 in your, in your eyes. I'm not saying you're not, but I mean like in terms of like the world, right? If you're going to try to value yourself as a $2,000 iPhone, but he sees you as a $1,000 iPhone, as soon as you start bargaining over $1,000, he's going to stop. So if you try too hard and you don't know your sexual market value, your mating value, um, right? And, and you try too hard, then you're going, he's going to pull away. 
if you're too easy and you don't realize your potential or your worth, you're going to be taken for granted. You're going to be taken advantage of, okay? But if you make this man work, ladies, if you make a man work and invest in you, he's going to double down because he wants to make sure that his resources are are, are paid for, right? That, there, that there's some type of... Um, that there's some type of thing that he gets back for for this investment. So, what are examples of cost? Things that you know he might um, be afraid of losing: the actual feelings and emotions towards you, the sex or physical aspect of what you two have, maybe the ease of access, uh, maybe you know because you're pre-qualified and you like whatever stuff like that. I'm not saying you can use all these to your advantage. I'm just telling you what some costs are. And of course, maybe like I said, unfortunately, you're a backup option. These might not be beneficial to you. That's not what it's about. It's about what he thinks are are, are cost or things are worth of value. So what are examples of threats? Because you got to threaten these things in some way. And women, a lot of women will say, well, I can't do any of this because he doesn't like me. Okay, then you can't make him jealous. You know, make sure to like this video. And then, and then click off. You just can't make them jealous. And you just don't have what it takes. You just you don't have this trifecta. You can only do it if you have that trifecta. You can only do it if you have feelings and emo- if he has feelings and emotions towards you. Okay. You can only do it if you don't have these things, right? So you have to. A lot of women will come to me and say, "Well, I can't do all that." Well, then he doesn't like you enough. Move on. But what are examples of threats? You could pull away, and you have to create something a, a threat to the cost. Uh, you can bring another man into the picture. And there's many ways of doing that. Maybe he hears you're dating through the grapevine, uh, pictures uh, on your Instagram, uh, maybe finds you back on Tinder, whatever it is. Another one could be number three here, taking power by being serious and actual follow, following through, which none of you do. Um, I don't mean literally none of you, but a lot of women will talk to me and I, I, they, they tell me they, they, they pull away, but then I'm like, okay, well, if you pull away, then why are you talking to me about the guy? Well, cause he came back around and he said this and we started talking again. Things were going great. No, 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 no. There's your problem. There's your problem. Follow through harder. Make this man. I, I let, let, ladies, listen. I always tell you, whenever a guy pulls away and he comes back around, that's a new negotiation. There's two things you need to do here. You need to raise your state. He can't, he can't just come back in just like that. He has to fucking wait or 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 invest extra to, to get back in. Um, and two, if he does, you have to raise your standards. He it's a new negotiation. He has to come back around, or you when he comes back around, you have to say, hey, you must want a relationship because I told you not to come back around. Unless you fucking want a relationship or whatever it is. And if he doesn't want the same thing in you or or you guys can't come to a negotiation that favors you, he's out. But women don't do that because you focus so much on emotion. And, of course, another threat would be maybe you're increasing your looks, your value, etc. Then insert the threat. So I always tell people, if he's going to pull away you know, for three months and you're the same person you were three months ago, well, that's a problem right? You always want to keep, not not even for him, you just want to keep on improving yourself. You want to keep on making yourself a better person. You want to keep on escalating, okay? Whether it's for, for life, future men, work, finance, just better yourself and men will fall in place. And of course, lastly, getting him to invest, okay? Um, again, that's strictly based on him, what he sees as valuable, what he has access to, how you know the context of everything, so on and so forth. You can only do you can only do this by having him realize the cost and willing and and, and be and he has to be willing to pay this cost due to seeing it as a valuable asset. But if if he's already pulling away, he probably doesn't see that. See, a lot of women make men jealous at the wrong time when a guy's pulling away. And I'm like, well, what the hell do you want me to do? I can't really fix that. You know, I feel like I'm yelling at you this whole video. I'm not. I love you all dearly. But listen, hopefully you all take what I say into consideration with all this. I, I could make this a three or four times longer. I could make this an hour video. I didn't want to. I don't want to jump into all these things because I don't think making someone jealous is, is such a is such a superficial, low level way of thinking. Like it's so 
surface level. Like I, I, I don't know why people who cares move on. You know, I, I just I can never grasp my I can never grasp my my head around it. Um, so the same people who make guys jealous are the same people who probably watch all these like popular trendy TV shows, have TikToks, and just follow trends, right? Um, if I, if you take offense to that, I'm sorry. But um, ladies, I love you. Take care. I, I know I sound like I'm yelling at you, but I'm just trying to let you let you in on on how I feel. But yeah, so peace.